The breaking news from the Federal Reserve. The Fed has officially hiked interest rates once again, this time three quarters of a percent. This dramatic rate hike comes as the Fed struggles to tackle inflation. The chair of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, spoke just moments ago. It is essential that we bring inflation down to our 2% goal if we are to have a sustained period of strong labor market conditions that benefit all. From the standpoint of our congressional mandate to promote maximum employment and price stability, the current picture is plain to see. The labor market is extremely tight and inflation is much too high. Against this backdrop, today the FOMC raised its policy interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point and anticipates that ongoing increases in the target range for the federal funds rate will be appropriate. Chairman Jerome Powell, for more, let's bring in ABC News business reporter Alexis Christopher. So Alexis, you know, sometimes it's hard to figure out what the, what the Fed chairs are talking about, less and less these days, but in this instance, uh, it was pretty clear. It sounds like uh, this rate hike is not gonna be the last. Yeah, I mean, the Fed is definitely teeing us up for more rate hikes to come later in the year. We still have three uh, Federal Reserve meetings to come in 2022, September, November, and December. Uh, the Fed continues to say it will be data dependent. It'll be looking at a number of different things, including inflation, to see whether or not more interest rate hikes are needed. It looks like Wall Street is now banking on a half percentage point rise at that September meeting. You know, some economists were thinking we might actually see the Fed raise rates by one full percentage point today. They didn't go that far, but they're still being aggressive, the most aggressive we've, we've seen the Fed be since 1980, when they were also trying to combat uh, high inflation. Do want to note, though, that uh, Chairman Powell today acknowledging that the economy is softening. So those interest rate hikes, those series of rate hikes, starting to have a little bit of an impact here. He pointed to the slowdown in the housing market and consumer spending. But as you said, again, teeing us up for more, more rate hikes to come. And there aren't a lot of Americans who can remember what it was like, as you said, the last time the Fed was this aggressive against inflation was back in the early 1980s. I remember it. It, it, was, uh, it was intense. So what does this mean for consumers? Well, it means that borrowing money is getting more expensive for not only for consumers, but also for small businesses. So rates on things like credit cards, uh, auto loans, home equity lines of credit and mortgage rates will continue to trend higher. And in an environment like this, what you want to do is make sure that you have a budget. You want to try to stick to that budget, get rid of extraneous spending, subscriptions you don't need, uh, money that you might be spending on some goods and services that just don't make sense. You want to get rid of those and pay down debt. That should really be your number one priority. Credit cards are, are the big instigator here. Rates there now at about 18%. So if you can get those overall balances down, it's going to be better for your financial health. Absolutely. Uh, so let's, let's turn to the next big report coming out uh, on the economy. It's coming out tomorrow morning, and it could reveal the U.S. is in a technical recession. It's the report on economic growth. What are you looking for? What does it say about our economy? And that's interesting that you say it's, it's a technical recession because it doesn't mean we'll be in a formal recession. Actually, the National Bureau of Economic Research determines that. And they look at a number of things, including income and the job market, to make that determination. The technical definition of a recession is two back-to-back -back quarters of negative growth. And we are expecting to see that tomorrow when we get the numbers on gross domestic product or GDP uh, for the second quarter. But as a number of economists have pointed out, and as the Fed chairman pointed out just today, the job the job market remains robust. We have got an unemployment rate at its lowest in about half a century. So it's tough to have a full-blown recession when you have so much of uh, the economy uh, moving in the right direction. Uh, Americans are still working and wages still going up. No, they're not keeping pace with inflation, but they are higher. So there is still some spending power there for Americans, although their dollar is going not as far as it did just a few months ago. And how's Wall Street reacting to all this? Well, you know what? Right after the report, you and I were together at, at 2 o'clock Eastern when that uh, report came out. We were modestly higher, but looky here. We've got hmm. the Dow now up better than 400 points. So this strong rally basically indicates that Wall Street is very happy with an aggressive Fed because what they want to do is get inflation lower, even if that means dipping us into a recession, because most on the street, they're betting on a mild one and a short one if we have one at all, Terry get the pain over as quickly as possible. So uh, this is an unusual economic situation for experts trying to figure it out. For ordinary people, 
might even be a little bit frightening. How, how, how do you, how should, how should people who are, you know, living on a budget look at the next few months? Well, I think you said it, living on a budget. A lot of Americans don't. So if you can set a budget and stick to it, that's the best thing you can do. If you can sock away on any money at all, because the ideal thing is to have three to six months of a cash for emergencies or if you were to lose your job on reserve. Uh, and if you don't have to buy a house right now, you don't have to buy a car or make a big purchase, you might want to wait, let this all settle out. Some are saying that uh, actually the Fed might start cutting interest rates, Terry, by the middle of next year. So you might just want to wait it out a little bit. Things might be a little more affordable. Mm. Good advice, as always. Alexis, thanks. You bet. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.